643 now on daybreak and this morning in a two on your side original whether you're shopping for one or two people or for a really big family you know how expensive groceries are and you can blame price hikes on a number of things some related to the pandemic yeah but you got to grin and bear it but there are easy ways that you can save right on your phone daybreak's heather lee has more on when we might see some relief from the high prices but more importantly, what we could do in the meantime to make that grocery bill a little less painful. If you do the grocery shopping in your house, you've probably noticed a lot of things are more expensive these days. Grocery prices have been rising since pandemic lockdowns began more than a year ago. And experts say expect that trend to stick around a while. The reality is that for the next 12 to 18 months, we're going to see grocery prices going up, and it's for a whole variety of reasons. Like rising transportation costs and shipping delays. Packaging costs more, for example, aluminum for pop cans. And worker shortages and plant shutdowns only add to the consumer's grocery bill. Well, what we're going to see is a lot of heavy investment over the next 12 to 18 months to have a more secure, more safe, more efficient food supply. Will prices go down after that? Probably not. Supermarket guru Phil Lempert is a food marketing expert and trend watcher. He says in addition to higher prices, expect to see fewer big deals at grocery stores. Those specials, those are done months in advance. And if you as a retailer have no idea what's going to be on your shelf in two months from now or three months from now, you can't promote. Coffee is now an average of 467 per pound, up 8%. Eggs are up 7%. Bacon and bread, both up 11%. Chicken, up 10%. But there are ways to save, like Flash Food, which Tops now offers in 33 stores across western New York. Think of it as a digital discount shelf. It's items that are nearing their sell-by date or their best-by date at a reduced price, so up to 50% off. Here's how it works. Download the free app, select what you want to buy, pay for it all in the app, and pick it up at the store. Best buy and use by dates are listed for each item. The selection varies day to day and week to week. You can find meat, cheese, and other dairy products, bakery items, even birthday cakes, and fresh produce, like a $5 box that has various veggies inside. Still perfectly good food items that you can use. Might be a great item as you're coming home from work and you have to figure out, what am I going to put on the table tonight for dinner? Online grocery subscription services like Imperfect Foods and Misfits Market offer deep discounts on items with some flaws, like cosmetic quirks or odd sizes. Mary Gartland has been using Misfits Market for several years. She's on a plant-based diet, which can be pretty expensive, but she says she can get almost everything she needs for $30 every other week. The only way I could get this kind of quality at this price would be to go to a farmer's market. And so many of them have not been happening since COVID. There's been one or two times I might have gotten a pepper that was broken or a cucumber that was squashed in the end a little bit. But the quality has been just remarkable as far as I'm concerned. And the fact that it's all organic and costs less money is amazing. 